Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to spend your Apple account balance on the App Store using an iPhone. So it can be a little bit confusing because if you go to the App Store, let's say for example, I want to make a purchase of an app. So I'm using this Lucid app and I want to make a purchase of the lifetime license for this. So this is a purchase through the App Store. If I click buy for $59.99, if I click the buy button, it's going to default to a debit card or whatever payment method you have on the App Store already. And you might be worried that if you make a purchase here, then this is actually going to take it from your card rather than the actual App Store credit. So if I look at my credit itself, I go to settings, if I go into the Apple ID, then I go to payment and shipping. And then if I go to the Apple balance here, it says that I have £104.56. So I really want the App Store to take it from this balance instead. So, you know, what is the solution here? So actually, what you might find is that, and I'll leave a link in the description for this particular web page is the Apple support page, which basically tells you how um, the App Store credit is actually taken from your Apple account. So how apps, content and subscriptions are billed. So if we scroll down here, you can see here that there's a section here called which payment method is charged. When you buy items or pay for subscription, Apple attempts to charge the payment methods in this order. So number one, Apple attempts to use your Apple account balance to cover the full amount. Um, and then if you don't have enough Apple account balance, or not enough to cover the full amount, Apple will attempt to charge your primary payment method. If you use family sharing, this might use the organizer's primary payment method. So basically, as long as your Apple balance covers the full amount, then when we're gonna make a purchase, it's gonna come from the Apple balance instead. So for example here, I'm gonna to go to my Lisa app, I'm buying a lifetime license to help me lose weight. And basically I'm gonna buy the lifetime license of this quite expensive, but we're gonna go, we're gonna do this for science. So I'm gonna press 59.99, make a purchase, it says it's going to take away money from my Chase account, but it should actually take it from my Apple account balance instead. So here I'm going to double click to pay. And that purchase has now been made. Purchase was successful. So if I go to my settings now, you can see that my Apple account balance has been deducted. So it didn't take any money from my actual credit card or debit card or whatever. It took it from the Apple account balance instead. Anyway, I hope this helps clear up some confusions because it's not particularly clear where that payment is going to go or come from, etc. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.